Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Well, we're wrapping up another week. Wasn't that a fun one? Sure it was. Of course it was. Well, uh, let's see here. Taking a look at the market. You know, the market didn't really change too much this week, did it? Here's Friday. We have this little tiny doji. I mean, geez, Louise, we had a ton of volume today. It was a quadruple witching but barely any movement at all. So this was Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. And boy, the market was barely changed on the week. Tried to make a run for the north side. And holy cow, really established some pretty solid resistance there. And it remains to be seen how this plays out. One thing we need to consider in how the market will play out is what news do we have on the agenda next week? That's right, no rest for the wicked. You get the weekend, but, you know, you should prepare for trading for next week, this weekend a little bit. Because on Wednesday of next week, we have, holy cow, such big, big news. We have a Fed announcement on Wednesday. There is a whole 99% chance of the Fed leaving rates unchanged. That is a according to data extrapolated from the Fed funds contract traded at the CME group. So we don't expect much to happen uh, as far as the actual interest rate policy, but we will of course be listening to what the market, or excuse me, what Jerome Powell and his buddies have to say about what they think about interest rates. And we got a pretty good idea what they're going to say with the hotter than expected inflation data that we saw this week. And uh, the economy is just kind of bustling along if you're looking at the numbers and that's what the Fed's looking at. So they're probably going to tell us that they're not super excited about raising rates anytime soon. So I don't really see too big of a surprise coming out of the market this coming week. Uh, that said, going down the pipeline the week after that, we have PCE, which if I'm not mistaken, is going to be released on Good Friday when the market's closed. Kind of weird. Uh, and oh, to prepare for that, if you're doing trades that are, um, you know, income generating trades, well, if you're thinking about theta at all and you're making trades that go into April, consider that we have one day of the market being closed and that we're going to have expiration Thursday, which we usually have, I think, once a year when we have the Good Friday holiday. Uh, that's not this coming week, but the week following. So there's a lot of things to think about as far as going forward. But that said, this weekend, think about some of those things, but also enjoy yourself. Take some time out for the important things in life. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.